I visited the actual location of my favorite 100 views of famous places in Edo, painted by Hiroshi Jando, to see what the scenes look like nowadays. The 090 night view of Saru Wakamachi is a view looking towards Katatoi Dori from Asakusa 6 Jom, which was called Shibamachi in this period. First of all, please note where this location is depicted. If anything, it is on the northeastern outskirts of Edo, around the northeastern side of what is now Asakusa Station. See a slightly enlarged map. I have added a red gradation, Hiroshige's point of view, to it. The scale is a little different, but let's put a map from the tempo period on top of it. The area indicated by the red gradient was a theatrical town called Seruwakamachi. Please see the detailed map of this Seruwakacho up to the second year of the Ansa era. Again, I have included Hiroshige's viewpoint in a red gradient. The entire town was occupied by Shibagoya, playhouses, Shibe tea houses, residences of people involved in the theater and related facilities. Let's take a closer look at Hiroshige's paintings. First of all, at the top is the moon on the 15th night, so it is a view of an autumn night. It depicts Edo citizens returning home outside after a kabuki performance at the end of the evening. On the right are the three kabuki houses known as the Edo Sansa, in the order Morita Za, Ichimura Za and Nakamura Za. Above each entrance is a signboard called a Yagira, watchtower. It was customary to put up a curtain on three sides, with five hair spears and a Brahma doll on the side, as evidence that the performance had been authorized by the shogunate. The row of Shibe tea houses on the left were for drinking and eating after the play had finished, and were usually open until midnight. Alongside these were the Yukiza and Satsumaza, two puppet theater houses. If you look closely, you can see a customer who has prepared to go home and is about to board a palanquin, and a woman from a tea house is politely escorting him back to his palanquin. The sushi stall on the right is probably about to make another fortune. The tea house is already lit, and the theater goers who look like a family of samurai, are about to go somewhere, following a guide man with a lantern under his arm. The Edo Sansa moved into this location in 1841, just as Hiroshige was reaching the peak of their career when he painted this picture. To see a play in Sarawakamachi from the Takutanababa area, people had to get up in the middle of the night, cross the Ushigome area, change to a boat and go down the Kanda River and the Sumida River. Therefore, if you returned at the end of the night, you would usually arrive at midnight. The origin of Kabuki is said to be Kabuki Adori, which was started around 1603 by a woman called Izumo no Akuni in Sanjo Kara, Kyoto. At this time, the dances often contained sexual scenes, and it is said that the possibility that Akuni herself had a prostitute side cannot be ruled out. Later, the lustrous dances were adopted in prostitutes' houses and came to be known as prostitutes' kabuki, and spread throughout the country over a period of 10 years or so. In parallel, there was also wakashu kabuki, performed by boys aged between 12 and 18, and yero kabuki, performed by adult men only. Around the time of the Jinroku era, 1690s, a notable actor appeared in this yero kabuki. He was a Chikawa Danjuro Iaveto who gained a reputation for performing rough art. From this Yero Kabuki, the modern form of Kabuki was established. Restrictions imposed by the shogunate also led to the liquidation of the many Shibe houses, and by the beginning of the Enpo era, 1670s, only four, Nakamura Za, Ichimura Za, Morita Za and Yamamura Za, were authorized to operate as government, licensed Shibe houses, with their turrets raised as a sign of their status. However, an incident occurred here, In 1714, Shoutoku IV, Ejima, an old woman in the service of the birth mother of Itsugu, the seventh shogun of the Takugawa family, saw Ikushima perform at the Yamamura Theater, a playhouse in present-day Higashiginsa. On his way back from visiting the former shogun's grave at Kaniji and Uno and Zajiji and Shiba, at the banquet that followed, Ejima invited Ikushima and others to his tea house, which caused him to be late for the curfew in the inner palace. This became a major problem within the shogunate, and Ejima was imprisoned for the next 27 years, while the actor Ikushima was exiled to Miyakejima and the Yamamura theater was also destroyed. The incident became a topic of conversation throughout Edo, and was painted and performed in Kabuki theater. 
Originally, the magistrate's office had a policy of preventing the proliferation of playhouses by banning prostitutes and young people's kabuki on the grounds that it disturbed public morals, and by granting the right to perform to Yero kabuki on a licensed basis. As a result, the number of playhouses in Edo was gradually reorganized, and only three, Nakamura-za, Ichimura-za and Morita-za, were allowed to raise the Yagira, Watchtower, which were known as Edo Sansa, Edo Three Theaters. Another incident occurs on October 7, 1841. The Nakamura-za theater was destroyed by fire, and the Ichimura-za theater burned down in a similar fire. Together, the Satsumaza and the Yukisa Puppet Theater also suffered damage. At the same time, the tempo reforms were being promoted in the shogunate under the leadership of the old chief of staff, Mizuno Tadakuni. Kabuki actors such as Ichikawa Danjuro 7 were banished to Edo for their extravagant costumes, and playhouses were placed under near repressive control to show the citizens of Edo what they could do. Incidentally, Ichikawa Danjuro Hakun, who is scheduled to Imperial Tour of Succession perform in the autumn of this year, is the 13th Ichikawa Danjuro. The incident prompted the shogunate to forbid the playhouse from being rebuilt in the same location as part of a gag law, and the following year it was forcibly relocated to the Asakusa Shodancho area, now part of Asakusa 6 Chome, Taito Ku, Tokyo. Full stop. In addition, the Morita Za Theater in Higashiginza was also forced to relocate. This newly established theater town in a remote area far from the center of Edo was named Siruwakamachi after Kanzaburo Siruwaka, the original founder of the Nakamura-za family, but it was so remote that it did not attract any customers in the early days. Later, it gradually became popular thanks to the exchange of actors between the Edo three theaters and promotion. Eventually, together with visits to the Sensoji Temple, the Yashiwara play after seeing a play, or the execution at Kazuokapura in Minami Senju. The Asakusa area grew into a major entertainment district reminiscent of Ningayacho in the olden days. Hiroshige depicted Siruwakamachi at its most vibrant at this time. I actually went to the current Siruwakacho. This is the view that Hiroshige once painted. The scenery is completely far removed from the bustle of the city, with houses and small and medium-sized office buildings lining the streets. When the shogunate collapsed at the end of Kyo 3, 1867, ten years after Hiroshige painted this place, the new government suddenly recommended at the end of September the following year that the Edo Sansa in Siruwaka, Cho be relocated elsewhere as soon as possible. The first theater to leave Siruwakamachi was Morita Za, which moved to Shintomicho in 1872, Miji 5, and was temporarily acquired by Shachiku, but was damaged by the Great Kanto Earthquake of 1923, Taisho 12, and closed. Next was Nakamura Za, which moved to Torigo in 1884 after a fire in 1882, but was completely destroyed by fire in 1893 and closed down. The last Ichimura Za was moved to Taito Wanchome in 1892, Miji 25, and Shachiku took over the management for a while, but it was destroyed by fire in 1932. Shawa 7, and closed down, the Edo Sansa, which boasted a 300-year tradition, finally drew the curtain on its history. Today, not even the name of the town of Siruwakacho remains. The Nakamura-za theater in Siruwakamachi, which was at its most vibrant at this time, has been lavishly restored at the Edo Tokyo Museum in Ryagoku. This will surprise you to see what it was like back then. The present day view is inset into Hiroshige's painting. The town is so quiet that it is hard to believe that it was once a busy theater town. In those days, there was no reliable lighting, so plays were performed from morning until dusk. The only light was from the outside, as it was in a dimly lit hut. Today, however, lighting, staging and stage construction are more elaborate, and the plays can be seen in bright conditions as a comprehensive performing art. Kabuki also continues to make various other developmental attempts, such as incorporating somersaulting and taking material from manga as a modern form of theater, while still placing emphasis on tradition. In the Edo period, entertainment, whether kabuki or sumo, could only be enjoyed by going to the place where it was performed, whereas today, although not as realistic, the content can be enjoyed in the comfort of one's own home. 
Now I would like to think about whether this is a good thing or a bad thing, while looking at the current situation here in Sarawakamachi.